Welcome to Wise Guys. Chorus Law Practice Question 1. So, let's practice the one question. If there are two charges, two charges, one is positive Q1, the other is negative Q2, and given Q1 equals to positive 8 microcurrent, Q2 is negative 12 microcurrent, and the distance between these two charges is 20 centimeters. And there is another charge, Q3, with positive 5 microcolon put in the middle way of Q1 and Q2 in the middle way here, and Q3 and positive charge put here. So this is in the midpoint. So looking for, find the force acting on Q3. So follow the Coulomb's law. The Coulomb's law have F equals K Q1 Q2 R squared. I say this is general formula. The Q1, Q2 in formula indicate two charges. Now apply this apply to this question. And looking for the force on Q3. So we need to consider what is the force acting on Q3 from Q1, right? Because Q1 is positive, Q3 also positive. They repair each other. But we're talking about force on Q3. This force from Q1 is repaired this way because they both repair that way, right? Repair each other. So we're talking about the force on Q3. We are interested in what is the force acting on Q3 from Q1. So we label at this one Q3 from 1. So that's why we need to write the formula this way. We have this formula, we write F31 equals to K times Q1, Q3. The distance is from Q1 to Q3. That's why we label on the bottom Q1 to Q3 square. And the other force is Q3 as positive put in the midpoint. Also, there is another force from Q2 acting on Q3. Because this is a Q3 is positive, Q2 is negative. That's why they attract each other. So the force comes from Q2 to Q3 attract. Attract is attraction, right? Attraction each other. So on Q3, it go towards Q2. So this is the F3 from 2. That's why we write Q3, Q3, 2 equals K, Q3, and the Q2 uh, R3, 2 squared. So that's why we can plug a number in. K is 9 times 10 to the 9 exponent. And the Q1 is 8 times 10 to the negative 6. Q, Q3 is 5 times 10 to the negative 6. The distance between Q1 and Q3 
is half of 20, which is 10 centimeters, right? 0 0.1 meter square. And the force between Q3 and Q1, right? 9 times 10 to the 9 exponent. Q3 is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 current multiply Q2 is 12 times 10 to the negative 6 current. And the distance between Q3 and Q2, also a mid midpoint, which is 10 centimeters, is 0 0.1 square. So this is the magnitude, because we already found the direction of F31, F32, both to the right. So after calculate these two forces, we need the net force on Q3 is Q31 plus Q32, because they have same direction. Right? One, one is these two repair, these two is attraction. So at these two. And we can get the answer is uh, F31. We calculate this one. When you using calculate to do this one, I can show you this one. Use nine, nine exponent, nine exponent, right? You just uh, hit the exp, which is exponent, <coughs> and then multiply eight exponent, negative six, negative six, and multiply five exponent another negative 6, and equal, and divided by 0 0.1 square, so it's 0 0.1 square. And you got the force is 36 Newton. This one is 36 Newton, 36 Newton, and plus F2, F32, we can also calculate, find the using this one, say 9 times 10 to the 9 exponent, multiply 5, go to exponent negative 6, and multiply 12, go to exponent negative 6, equal, and divide it by 0 0.1 square. We got the 54. Newton and total equals 90 Newton. The direction is go to right. Direction go to right. So this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.